Hello, once again, I see you're back to see me do another test run of another game on Game Boy. This time I am throwing down on some Battle of Kingdom. Uh, it seems like an interesting game, obviously, I'm just test running it. See how it is, see how far I can get. Um... And let's see if I can pull up any information about this particular game. See if it has any interesting shit. Let's see, is there anything interesting? Maybe... I'm doubting it. And... Let's see... Battle of Kingdom Game Boy. I'm doubting I find anything. It's possible. Anything is possible. But I'm doubting I will find anything. Oh, and I actually did find something about this fucking game. So far, it seems like what I am observing is that this is a 2D um, side scrolling um, strategy game. Let's see, it was developed by Maldock, Life Planning, and Lennar. Same with publishers. Distributed by Nintendo. It was released in De on December 13th in 1991. Okay, let's see. Genre, strategy, board game, action. Battle of Kingdom is a 1991 Game Boy video game that was jointly created by Meldek, Live Planning, and Lenar Company. It was only released for the Japanese market. The object is to lead a kingdom through a battle using the format of a traditional board game. Monsters like slimes can face off against each other for control of the playing field in the lower levels of the game. While the story itself is in Japanese, most of the information that is important to the game uses the Latin alphabet that is familiar to English speakers. Each stage represents a battle in a high fantasy campaign to save the world from an unknown evil that resides in, in a skull castle. The player's creatures can either fight, run away from battle, use an item, or cast a magic spell. All creatures have hit points, agility points, and spell points. That's all you have for me? Well, you're no fun. My go is my golem already kicked somebody's ass? I think my golem did kick somebody's ass. Or, like this guy, he's gonna kick his ass too. Down with goblin. You know what? And that reminded me of something I came across earlier. Is it just me, or does Nicki Minaj look like the gr the female gremlin? And if you don't know what gremlins are, obviously your balls probably have not even dropped yet either. No, Guild Wars 2 looks fucking gay. I'm, I'm arguing with somebody about the Guild Wars. Uh, cause he's like, I was talking about it. Uh, I used to, actually that's what I played before everything else. Um, before I got into PC gaming hardcore, that was like one of the first big games I actually did play. Um, Guild Wars is not, I would not consider it a mass multiplayer game. As, you know, compared to... Compared to something like WoW, or EverQuest, or Final Fantasy XI, or fucking what else, um, 
this new Star Wars, The Old Republic. Uh, what else do you kids familiar with these days? It's like hot shit or something. RF Online, that's been dead by Lineage 1 and 2. Um, what else is popular amongst your children? Uh, I can't remember what else. I know there's a bunch of MMOs and I just stopped paying attention. What is it? Ragnarok was popular. Um, I don't know, was Ragnarok an MMO? I didn't play it. Anyway, Guild Wars was not really a true MMO by any standards or means. It was just a multiplayer game, and the most you could have is eight players. Pretty sure it was eight players. Maybe it was five. I think it was eight at the most. Like per instance or whatever. Um, because when you enter the world, you're otherwise pretty much alone, unless you invite someone else to your party, which really you don't. And it was, last time I checked, it's just a huge fucking grind fest. I didn't even level my, um, I think it was a necromancer hunter. I didn't even max level that fuck. Cause like, really, it's just, um, whatever. I did, I did have fun, I had a mage mesmer. That was fun. Was it a, is that what they called it, a mage? I can't even remember now. Sorcerer. Sorceress. I don't know. Like a monk with a warrior. And he was pretty badass. Oh, what else? I had like four characters. I had like a ninja and then something, something. Uh... It was, I mean, it was okay while it lasted, but really, it just got old really fucking fast. I ended up selling my account for like 20 bucks. It was like all the extra stuff. And really, after shipping, I like made zero profit, pretty much. Maybe five bucks profit. I should have, no wait, I sold it for 15. I should have sold it for 20. But I don't think he would have went for it for 20 Because you can buy the fucking whatever um, full pack for like five bucks these days. Um, so really I was just trying to offer some sort of competitive price and I really should have just done like 20 25 They didn't really know that they could have got it for cheap as fuck on Steam. Um, I still have my World of Warcraft account. I really should just sell that, I suppose. I mean, I don't fucking play it, so... Uh, it's been... I haven't played it since... Um, before Cataclysm came out. Uh, literally, my last... When it expired, was like two or three days before Cataclysm came out. I do have the collector's edition of Cataclysm sealed, unopened. I haven't fucking played that shit. Uh, I don't really plan to. I don't want to get back into it again. Too much of a fucking time sink. I have too much going on. I don't have access to my gaming computer anyway. My gaming computer has been in storage for the past six months. And that really makes me sad, because I have a lot of fun games on there. I think the last real fun game I was actually playing was Trine. And I see they're out with Trine 2 now. Let me see, I was also working on one of the Half-Life expansions. Not Half-Life 2, or the episodes, I'm talking about the first Half-Life in one of its expansions. I forget what it was called. I know I beat one of them and then I didn't beat the other. But they were fun. I did, I think, this game actually kind of reminds me of what, I want to say, um, Swords and Spears or some shit, Swords and Towers, or... I don't know, I remember it was like an HD game on Steam, and it was like, you get it for like a dollar and shit. So, Swords and Soldiers or something. And, I mean, it looks pretty fun. And I suck at games, but that looked fun. I would have played it if my, if my computer would have been able to handle HD. I don't think you could handle HD. So I didn't even bother with that. However, I still think it would have been fun. Unfortunately, computer's in storage right now. 
And until I build a new gaming computer, I doubt you'll be seeing me playing any of my awesome backlog of 150 Steam games that I can play. By the time I do, they're all going to be old, outdated, and irre irrelevant, so hopefully they'll somehow be like, Oh cool, get to watch you do something people already did and stuff. But hey, for the time being, I do want to thank you for watching this test run of Battle Kingdom. This is the first part. Uh, like and subscribe. Check out my other videos. You may enjoy more than this one. And for the time being, I'll see you when I see you, and goodbye.